Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to Number One Cooking. My name is The Nagler, and today's episode is dedicated to those people who want gains in the gym. That's right. Today we're making a protein shake. So over here we have the ingredients you are going to use and over here we have the utensils needed to complete this product. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. You want to start by cutting up the burger and the hot dog before putting it in the blender. Because if you don't, then that could cause serious issues for your blender. Your blender will not be able to cut the hot dogs and the burger properly. Alright, now here's a pro tip for you guys. So when you're cutting your, when you cut anything, anything with a knife, you always want to have your knuckles set out like this and you don't want your fingertips out here. Why? Because if you have your fingertips, that could cause issues when you try and cut like this. But if you have your knuckles, it's more likely to bounce off and just go off instead of just cutting through. Now these eggs are hard boiled, so all I gotta do is crack them open, cut them in half and just throw them in there. Now peanut butter, you're only gonna want a few tablespoons. Too much peanut butter can cause too much stickiness in the mouth when you're trying to drink your protein shake. Milk, you want about half a cup, and then you can fill the rest of it with water. Now you might also be wondering why I pre-cooked the hot dog and the burger. Now that's because I want to save that for a future tutorial, where I teach you how to cook a variety of different meats. And then the last two things to go in there is the milk and the water. Like I said, about a half a cup. I've done this about zero times before, so I know exactly how much to put in there. Now that you have your half cup of milk, time to fill this whole thing about half full of water, maybe a little less. That's when we want to turn the blender on. Now you're going to want to keep the blender on until everything is fully mashed. Uh, looks like you could actually drink it. Alright, so once you've finished your product, it's ready to drink. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Make sure you click the card on the end so that way you can see all my other cooking tutorials and tips and tricks for you. Hugs and kisses, I'll see you a different time.